everyone, this time you can see me make four resin geode druzy coasters and I'm going to make these coasters for two very special friends in my life and the colors they like are white and sand colors so those colors I will be using so I hope you enjoy watching my video and hopefully you will give me a thumbs up for it yeah I'm going to make uh, some coasters for two very special friends in my life and um, I already started with a nice glitter in the center and this is the glitter from uh, Glitter Queen in the color Pastel Pearl White and the resin that I use is from Resin Pro it's their Art Pro resin it's a medium viscosity resin I like to work with this resin you, you cannot only use it in silicon molds but also uh, make paintings with it and the yellow barrier that you see I made in um, yeah a month ago I will include uh, the link to the video in the right corner then you can see how I made those uh, coaster barriers with a nice druzy edge so the first color that I use is uh, one of my mica pigments it's the white lily very nice pearl white color so a thin line on the edge on top of the clear resin and then another color and this is the color beige and it's from color passion it's a pigment paste and I think it's a nice sand color so what I mentioned the glitter in the center is very pretty the link to the website of glitter queen is in the description below this video don't forget to use my promo code if you uh, buy some of her glitter my promo code is in the description below this video and also uh, the promo code for the resin pro uh, supplies is in the description with some other promo codes but yeah if you're curious please check out the description and now I'm going to use alcohol ink I never tried this before so this is my first time to see if it works or not and this is uh, an alcohol ink from Ranger in the color butterscotch four drops in the center next to the glitter normally I would use alcohol ink with the flower technique but why not try it this way and the yellow barrier is made with a silicon rubber it's called eye gummy and this is also from resin pro and yeah it's a two component silicon rubber that you have to mix together in two equal parts and it cures in uh, in an hour so i made these barriers with um, alum crystals leftover alum crystals and in that video you can watch how I make these barriers and you can find the link to the video in the right corner so in the center on top of the glitter I pour some clear resin to push the colors to the outside there you can see it very careful because I want that glitter not spread too much to the outside and these coasters will get at least two layers to hopefully create some depth and then the coasters will be about one centimeter thick with a nice 
Crystal Druzy Edge. Again, some clear in the center. And all the supplies I use in this video you can find at the end of the video, but also in the description below this video. So the white lily color that I used is a mica pigment. And it's one of my own mica pigments. I have listed it in, in my Etsy shop. So if you are interested, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description below this video. And I sell a lot more supplies. And some of my supplies are also available in the USA and Canada by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. The link to her Etsy shop is also in the description. So now I use my embossing tool to remove air bubbles. And then I'm done with the first layer. I will let this dry and then I will add a second layer. So this is one hour later and I wanted to show you up close how they look. Some nice effects already. And yeah, what I experience if you uh, use a silicon mold, uh, the colors will always flow to the center and then you can create some nice effects. But yeah. I have to let this dry for 24 hours and then I can add a second layer. So we are 24 hours later. I'm going to add a second layer starting with clear resin on the outside. And what I forgot to mention, the base is uh, R2 plexiglass sheets and atop I um, laid down those silicon barriers and I didn't use any hot glue or whatsoever I just cleaned the plexiglass and then on top I added the silicon druzy barriers and then it's uh, okay So first a, a thin layer of clear resin, Again, I'm using my embossing tool to remove air bubbles. And yeah, I could have used a torch um, in these molds, but I never use a torch when I use a, a, a silicon mold. But there are not a lot of air bubbles in this resin. Again, the white lily mica pigment, a thin line, such a pretty color. With a nice pearl effect. And hopefully this way I can create uh, depth. At the end of the video I'm going to show you a close-up of both sides. But also when the light shines through. I'm going to use the same colors. White and a nice beige color. From Color Passion. There you can see it. And I also have a promo for the website of Color Passion. So if you're interested in their supplies, the link is in the description and also my promo code. So on the edge of the white lily color, I'm adding this beige color, a very thin line.
And you can already see that the colors flow to the center. Again, the butterscotch from Ranger One Drop in the center. And then clear to push that butterscotch color to the outside. More clear resin. And again I'm using the nice glitter from Glitter Queen. The same color, pastel pearly white. Spreading it with my steering stick. Again, using my embossing tool. So hopefully they like these coasters. But yeah, you never know because now it looks very pretty, but during drying it can change a lot. Adding a little bit more of that glitter. And it looks so pretty below that uh, butterscotch color. Again some clear. I'm adding it bit by bit. And from up high, I think this side already looks very pretty, so hopefully it will stay this way. Spreading the glitter a little bit. Again my embossing tool to remove air bubbles. And then the second layer is also done. I will let this dry for an hour and then I will show you how they look. It's one hour later and I wanted to show you if they changed or not. I think they look amazing, some great effects. 
and the colors are very nice. You can, uh, can also see the glitter shining through a little bit, but on the other side of the coasters, you, the glitter is much more visible. And hopefully that side is also pretty, I don't know yet. So I will let this dry for 24 hours and then I will take the coasters out of the molds. So we are 24 hours later, now I'm going to remove the coasters out of the mold. And uh, what I also mentioned in my previous video, resin doesn't stick to plexiglass. So if you bend the plexiglass a little bit, then the coasters come loose. There you can see it. And you don't want the plexiglass that, th that thick, because otherwise you can't bend them. So this uh, plexiglass is about one millimeter thick. Hopefully you don't hear my friend's bulldog again. He is making a lot of noise. But yeah, people that watch my videos for a longer time now, now already know that I have a friend's bulldog and that he makes some noise. There you can see me bend the plexiglass. And then you can take the coasters from the plexiglass. I still need to re remove the uh, yellow barrier, the druzy barrier. But normally I don't have a problem with that because it's made out of silicon rubber and also that doesn't stick to resin. There you can see it. And I just love the edge of these coasters. It's very sparkly and it it looks very natural, just like real druzy crystals. Second one is out. And those druzy barriers can be used again. They are just like a, a silicon mold. And the third one. So I'm very pleased how this side looks. Very nice uh, beige and white colors. And the last one. And I also li like the center. Some really nice effects. And the glitter is shining through. So hopefully the other side, the glitter is much more visible and looks pretty. So now we can take a closer look. It's transparent in the center, so that's nice. So also at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how transparent they are. And that's the other side, also very nice. I love that glitter. A small leakage, but you can remove it very easy. The edge is amazing. That's the other side again. Yeah, I like both sides. I think these coasters can be used on both sides. And the last one. Very pretty. Yeah, I still need to work on the edges a little bit because I have small leakage. And that needs to be removed.
Yeah, so I'm very happy with the end results. So hopefully my my uh, friends also like these coasters. There you can see it up close. And the edge. Very nice. And the other side, with the glitter in the center. Yeah, very pretty. Here I'm showing you uh, that they are transparent and that the light is shining through. I like it very much. Very pretty with the glitter in the center. Nice colors. And this is a close-up of, of the side, how I poured it. There you can see the effects in the center. And what I mentioned, the colors will always flow to the center. And that way you can create a nice uh, effect. And hopefully you can see the, the depth because I added two layers of resin. Yeah, I'm very happy with the end result. And I just love that edge. It's, it's very nice. And it looks very natural. Just like a real druzy crystals. There I'm trying to show you the edge, but it, yeah, it's very difficult to film this. It's very sparkly and then my camera has difficulty focusing. And this is the other side, and now you can see the glitter much better. It's very nice holographic uh, glitter. So let me know what you think of my uh, resin Geoda Druzy coasters. I would really like to know. And um, all the supplies I've used in this video you can find in the description below this video with a link to the website. And I want to thank you all for watching again and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!